So the computers at the ARL are set up a little differently than the ones at your home school. You can see that best by either going to your folder, finder, or going to your computer option. I have a C drive. If you have a C drive, please let us know. You should, however, have a local drive, which is in this case called data D. Your data D drive means that it's the drive that's on this computer physically in the room, the computer you turned on, you can actually save to that machine in this data D. When you first come in the class, you're going to start a new folder, name it your first and last name. I've done this quite a few times. And that folder is going to be where you save every project for this class. Now, I can't see this. I can't network into it. This is just where you will save them for your own personal use. Because it's saving directly to the computer, this has the fastest connection. You're not saving over a network. You're not saving over a wire. And so the files tend to not corrupt or really miss any packets while saving if you save them to your D drive. Now you have a network drive. Mine says T. LeBaron. Yours should say some variation of your name with maybe four numbers afterwards. And this is that same drive you use at your school. This is the network drive. If you save to this drive, you're saving over a wire. It's taking a longer time. It relies on having an active network or internet connection. And so a lot of times, some of our files are so large that if there's a hiccup, in that saving process, it can cause your file to run improperly or to completely corrupt. So I recommend saving to your data D and then backing up to your network. The other reason I wouldn't save just to the network is that you have a limited amount of space here. Right now, my space is blue, which means I still have this much more I could save. Once it becomes red, that means this drive is almost full, or sometimes the bar doesn't even show up. If either of those happens, that means that you are no longer able to write temporary files when you open any computer programs, whether they're here, and even if you're just saving to your data D, the program may not run properly. Sometimes it won't even open, so make sure that if this becomes red or this bar isn't showing and it says zero bytes down here, that you free up some space so that your bar becomes blue again. You need that to run any of the programs in the school system. You also have access to a hand in and hand out from your home school. And although mine's just called hand in and hand out because I only belong to one school, yours will be called ARL hand in and ARL hand out. In hand in, we have an animation section. Same with hand out. You can use this to turn in files, or we can get, use this to give you files. We may also use Canvas for this purpose, or a Google Drive. So we'll tell you how to get the folders, but just know if we say use ARL hand in and ARL hand out, they're here. You can also load in a flash drive or a portable hard drive to back up your work, and we would highly recommend having a backup that you have taken with you. You can also use Google Drive, but you run into that same network connection. And sometimes if we have those hiccups in the network, your file might not have saved. And if it's something you wanted to bring home as homework, that can be an issue. But that's how our files are organized here. Remember, go to your data D, and you're going to save the majority of the work you do here. We also recommend to save a new version every day, even if it's just project version 1, project version 2, project version 3, so that if you accidentally do something you want to change or aren't liking the direction the file is going, you can go back to an earlier save instead of restarting the entire project.